go. Climbing the ladder. Hello fellow gamers, KevinJ2010 here welcoming you to the fifth dungeon in the game. The legendary sand ship. <laughs> yes, this is the fifth dungeon in the game and quite an interesting locale. I like how they did that, but again, missed opportunity in my opinion. This place is a four floor dungeon, I think. Four or five floor dungeon. Pretty big, pretty confusing, but we shall get through it. So, welcome to the sand ship. Yes, we are here, and I actually had to restart my recording uh, because I kind of ran out of time after the last one, and here we are recording again. Uh, I'm Kevin J2010. I already said hello at the last one because I had to do the intro of it because I had to capture that intro thing. Yeah, you, if you're a Let's Player, you know what I mean. Welcome to the Sand Ship! It's the fifth dungeon in the game. And I talked about it last episode, and I'll talk about it again this episode. Mist potential all over this place. Okay. Now, we'll get more into it as we go through this dungeon, because I'm going to be going through this dungeon, you know, slowly but surely. Um, for one, I partially forget how to go through this place, but... You know what? We'll, we'll, we'll figure it out, I think. Hopefully. Is one of these doors unlocked? Thank God. Okay. <laughs> That's a bad sign. Are these doors open? I really hope I'm going the right way. Anyway. Um, oh, well, that's not good. Uh, pick it up. Pick it up. Pick it up. Throw it. No! <laughs> that's not good. That is not a good combination. Okay. Throw. That's yeah, gonna pop. No, that's gonna throw another one. What? What? Whoa. Whoa. What? Bomb. Didn't do what it normally does, but anyway, as I was trying to say, what was I saying? I don't even remember what I was saying. Oh, missed potential. We're gonna be getting through that more as we go through this dungeon, so just keep that in mind. I'll be talking about missed potential a lot in this dungeon, because this is a dungeon that, like, it's a ship. I understand that they've already done two water levels technically, but you had a stage or a dungeon literally that's on a ship and it's another sand place because the mining facility is very similar to this I feel like they could have made it original they could have made it cool the water, the, you know what it would have been really cool because it, it would have showed that you know hey they know how to make Zelda dungeons Zelda water dungeons that aren't stupid but yeah we'll get more into it as we go because I feel like they could have done so much with it and they really don't but that's just my honest opinion Slash, 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 There's a lot of freaking things. What are these called? What are you even? What are you even called? You called? No, I was trying to read what it was, but you clearly won't tell me what it is now. Thank you. Goodbye, Fi. Okay. I feel like I've just rambled and not said anything. This is the sand ship. It's the fifth dungeon in the game, I'm saying it again. Because I don't know this dungeon very well. If anything, it's probably the dungeon that I know the least. Um, so hopefully I don't fail too hard. But you never know what's gonna happen with me, because I have my moments where I do really good, and I do have my moments where I do really bad. What, what do you wanna? Master, please look. That's the door. This large door here is sealed shut. Oh, thanks. This door must lead to an important room in the ship. Oh, thanks. I figured we'll get the compass at some point anyway. I hope. Anyway, so we're just going to continue through here. Again, I hope I'm going the right way. Oh, no, I have to do this again. No, I didn't check what it was. I'm going to figure out what it is. Oh, right, right. It's here. It's here on the ground. Here on the ground. Okay. So what we can do here is there's a door here that's got the hitty things again. And is that go freaking I'm having a hard time with this. This is this is one of those recording sessions that I mean like I started thinking it'd be fun and now I'm already frustrated just because I don't like this dungeon. And I have a lot of reasons to not like this dungeon. God, but I feel like if I record angry, it'll be funny. Can I talk to you? And Fi's gonna talk to me about that? No. Okay, so as we can see, that must be his crew in there, Skipper's crew. 
Now, how do you know which way is up? Well, keep in mind, if you look at these on here, there's a little red line on the top of them, on top of these, a little red line. That denotes where the top is. And then along with that, you'll notice there's a prong on these that are red, and that's in which order. So as you can see, the first one is down, because this would be the top of it on the red, so that means this arrow is on the bottom. And that one's got four, that one's got two over there. Oh, I have to hit four, right. There's another, I gotta blow over another one somewhere. It's probably all the way back there, there it is. Let's see if I can blow the rest of it off, I don't think I can. It seems like it's down again. I'm gonna guess that it's down. It looks like it'd be down. Ah, jeez. Okay. So I'm gonna guess that that last one's down. This one over here has a two on it. Because you see there's two red uh, prongs coming out of the pirate ship steering wheel. So it's gonna be down, up, down, right. That's what it looks like. So you lock onto it. Pull out your sword. Down, up, down, right. Ah, I free. You know, I usually don't get, I usually screw that up, even if I think I know what I'm doing. So, hooray, we did it. First try. First try. First, anyway. Did we get the item already? No, this is the dungeon map. This better be the dungeon map. If this is the item I'm gonna be, or, or, that would also be, that, yes. <laughs> that would also be an acceptable thing to find in your first big chest in a dungeon. It's just game design. Um. <laughs> Because, you know, you shouldn't get the dungeon map too early. You shouldn't get the dungeon item too early. You have to figure out how to navigate this place without it. And then you can understand what it's like to have it. And then old areas feel new because that's game design. Do you see? Do you see how I understand game design? And when I argue with people about video games, I say, like, this game is good because of, here's the argument. Because A, here's the argument. That, that's literally what I meant to say. Because here's the argument. Um... I feel like I've played enough video games and I understand like the thought process. Maybe maybe I didn't take an actual psychology course, but I feel like I understand why some things are really oh, okay, that's sand. I wasn't even looking ahead of myself. Uh yeah, sprint. 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 There we go. Um, I hope I haven't walked past the locked door that I was supposed to use this on. Pretty sure it's up here we gotta use it on anyway. Or it's at least out here. But, uh, yeah. I feel like I understand game theory in some ways. You know what? Just because I can. Oh, there's one of these on the wall. Whenever you see one of these, um, there's, there, uh, Gorka was supposed to show us, but I never actually ended up seeing him. What you do is, if you see one of these, you can set up a Skyward Strike. And you can draw on it. And you can draw... Literally whatever you want. Um, if you draw anything, you get rupee. Uh, you get gold or hearts. Sorry. Let's see if I draw a rupee. I've never actually drawn a rupee on this before. I, think, I don't think it's gonna think it's a rupee. Oh yeah! Wow! It actually works. Wow! Man, a sil Wow! I've never actually done that before. You can draw just about anything in there. I'm sure if you drew, if you draw a circle, I believe you get bombs. Sometimes you get hearts. Um, you get things out of it. It's actually a kind of cool concept, and I didn't know that you can draw rupees, but now you know a cool way to get a decent amount of rupees. We got at least 20, 125 rupees in there, so that's pretty cool. It was more than that for sure, but at least 125, because I knew there was a red and a blue and a silver, so math. Anyway, that was exciting. Man, this episode should be called the episode of excitement, because we're all about the... I There was a locked door down there, wasn't it? Now I gotta go find the locked door. I told you, I'm not good at this place. Oh, wait, it's right there in front of me. Oh, good. I'm not that stupid. <laughs> Here I was thinking I was stupid, and it turns out I was only mildly stupid. All right. Sorry, I was fixing my mic there. Anyway. Anyway. Seems we're out on the... I forget what the front of the ship's called. The bow? Because it's port, starboard, bow. I used to know it all. What is... What, who are you? It's Robotron! I don't know what his name is. And he's gonna fight us, and we have to fight him. I forget his name. Nah, I pulled out. <laughs> I meant to bring out Fi. Target L LD002S Scurvo. 
I forget what- I know that name actually has meaning. If you know what the meaning is, leave that in the comment, because I know that his name has a meaning. Anyway. Every time you hit him, he take, he bounces back a little bit. Uh, you can beat him because of your time of your shield bashes. Come on, this is supposedly pretty easy. Okay, so you get him to the end and he's mad. He's like, hey, get back. I am the LD002S Skurvo. And he moves the door closer to you. So you actually have less room to fight him now. It's kind of hard to fight because you can't seem to get close to him. Just pay attention to the way he's blocking after you hit him a few times. And then he'll do that. Oh, and I hit my hand on my thing. I fix my chair. So yeah, now he's really mad because we broke off his sword arm. You broke off my sword arm! Well, it'd be Yar! You broke off me sword arm! Oh, I can shield that for sure. Oh, but you can't shield that event. That's good. We have the shield that blocks uh, electricity. I feel like this is being a lot easier than... Wow, that was a lot easier than I remember it. Why was that? I remember that boss being really hard, and I handled that really easily. Hooray! <laughs> and there is a chest, and that means that we are... Well, it's gonna go down. It is going down. Anyway, I've done that joke before. Master, that synthetic life form. There's a 99% chance that it was the pirate described by the captain. Scurvo! Yar, you broke me robot arm! <laughs> it makes me... It's like I don't even play Gangplank in League of Legends, but I just... Nah, I think more... I guess I think more of the Flying Dutch, the flying Dutchman from Spongebob. And that's what I think of. And we get the bow, by the way, in case you didn't notice. We get the bow, finally. And we actually have every single item in the game. Every single, like, item like that. We already have it all. Master, report about... The, report about the bow you have just obtained. Did, you get, did we just get the bow on the bow of the ship? Because the bow, if the bow is the front of the ship, then we just got a bow on the bow of the ship. We just got a bow on the bow on the bow of the ship. We just got a bow and a bow and the bow on the ship. If someone can remix this, I will love you. Um, you can also shoot arrows to strike certain devices in order to activate them. Thanks! You pointed out how that can be- Okay, fight, fight. I'll, I'll teach the fans myself. I will, I will teach all the fellow gamers out there myself if they watch this video. I will teach them. You don't need to talk to me about it. Thank you. Uh, good night! Anyway. Anyway. I'm gonna... I, okay, next episode, I'm gonna do a whole... I'm gonna do the next... I'm gonna try to do the whole next episode in a pirate accent. Just because we're on the sand ship. And it was a lot of fun to talk like this, me hearties. Avast, me hearties. Welcome back to some more Legend of Zelda. To the Legend of... Legend of Zelda. The Skyward Sword. I feel like I could do that better. In the last episode, me and you, we went out, and we entered the sand ship. We deliver an impact to it by something... Okay, I get it. I get it. Fine, I get it. So as you can see, the bow works kind of cool. It charges on its own when you hold the A button, and it makes the arrow super strong. And I almost missed that. And it turns the whole ship in this... Okay, we'll talk about this in the next episode. Well, I, we, have, we have about a minute now. We can talk about it now. I don't like this. And he just turned the thing, and that's gonna lock it up so we can't reshoot it now. Anyway. And he locked the door on us. So I was gonna say. What I don't like about um, this dungeon. You just turned the boat into the real world. And it's cool that it does a whole place, because the whole place fits within the area. And that's really cool. But you know what they should have done? Imagine if we could have moved the boat. Imagine if the water actually affected the boat. What if we did water-based puzzles with it? Imagine how many puzzles there could have been with this? If there's one thing that Skyward Sword kind of aimed for, kind of aimed for shorter dungeons, and I will give it that. The dungeons are a lot shorter in this game. And, uh, don't get me wrong, uh, nothing against long or short dungeons, they both have their pluses, but I feel like you, you lose a lot of cool... You lose a lot of, like, potential, like, because we can come up with so many better... Um, if it's fully... By the way, if, if, when your arrow is fully charged... Oh my god, I got an arrow! Yay! Okay. 
I mean, it's fully charged. It pretty much will not drop. But if it's not fully charged, which I'll try right now. If it's not fully charged, it gets a little bit of drop. and It's not a, it's not a full power. But a fully charged one is full power, so... Just keep landing those shots, and you can fight this guy with your hands. Wow. That looked painful. Anyway, um... Wait, that's the way we're going. Oh, but I should probably shoot those guys down, too. I always suggest shooting these guys down, because they're going to get annoying if you don't. Well, I don't think I'm supposed to shoot that first, anyway. I gotta shoot this one first over on this side. To shoot that eye thing, it's going to send a little handrail over to you. But you know what? Well, actually, no, nah, I don't want to end the episode in the middle of this. We're going to at least finish this. So, we're riding on a thing. So there's where we, we fought Skurvo right down there. It's interesting that that, it, that 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 is in a separate room, but it's still rendered, which is nice. It's not it's not like super. It's not super polished, but it's nice. Anyway, stand here, grab that, and it's gonna bring us all the way up here. Like this is a cool concept, like getting on the masts and stuff. Although I doubt masts would be wide enough for people to walk on, nor nor would they be flat in reality. But anyway, so you put it in here. In. I said stab. I said stab. And we're gonna open that up again. So now that is open. And we've opened the doors. We can now go back in. Link, good job, Weep. Oh. Now the ship looks just like it used to for Weep. That makes me so happy. Now I just need you to go rescue my crew, Weep. I am pretty sure they're being held in the brig inside the ship, Berserk. Okay, well, we'll be doing that in the next episode. I like how I don't have the dungeon map yet. Or do I? Do I? Or it just knows all my floors. Yeah, okay. I don't have the dungeon map because I don't see all the rooms, but okay. It's still pretty dangerous here, so I'll just wait in the boat. You can do it, Verm. Okay, thanks, Skipper. Um, real quick, one final thing we are going to do. Is it that side? Yeah, it's that side. What we want to do is we want to shoot that right there. And it's going to bring this all the way to us. Once this is all the way to us, we are going to grab it. Swing on down to Paradise City where the grass is. <laughs> I didn't know what song I was going to sing there, and I just decided to go with. Uh, I'm about to say Aerosmith when I know that band is. Um, hello, can I lock on you? Hello? Uh, hello, game? Hello? Or do I jump down first? I don't want to jump down and screw this up. Did I screw it up? No, I didn't. Okay. So you can lock onto this. Once you've locked onto this. You head down to that. And you lock onto this, and you head down to that. I feel like I just drop, and it would work, but... I go, and down here we have a chest over here, and inside this chest is a another item, and I'm not going to say what it is yet until it is a heart piece. Yes, a piece of power. I collect four of these. So that's our... Collect two to go, so I'm going to guess that's our 14th. Could be wrong. Um, the, 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 the number will be right on the screen. Anyway, um, so yeah, anyway, so, next time on Legends of the Scarlet Sword, we are going to continue down to the brig to go meet, uh, Skipper's crewmates who are still trapped here on this boat, but now it is in the past, so, I'll see you guys all next time. <laughs>